How to write a summary of a book. A book summary is a concise description of any book that touches on the main ideas, plot, and characters to give readers a comprehensible understanding. A book summary is also known as a book synopsis. Below is a step-by-step -step guide on how to write a book summary. Step 1. Carefully read the entire book. If you are going to summarize a book, you need to read it meticulously. You should not read it quickly, as you will miss the important points. On the contrary, take your time and ensure you understand every section of the book. Step 2. Take enough notes. Ensure that you take sufficient notes while reading the book. It may seem like a waste of time, but it is not. It will assist you in writing the summary effectively. You can't remember everything, so the notes will come in handy. Although there are many strategies for taking notes, the best is doing it in a dedicated notebook. Some important notes you need to take are those of the important characters and important points in each chapter. What should you note down about the characters, character names, their key personality traits, their impact on the storyline, what should you note down about each chapter? If your book is non-fiction, mention the following details when making notes for each chapter, chapter title or number, key ideas and their supporting evidence, intriguing analogies, statistics and facts. If the book is fiction, describe the following details when jogging down notes for each chapter, chapter title and number, characters and the new insights that they develop, settings, key events. Step 3. Determine the main ideas. Before you can create your summary outline, you need to know the book's main ideas. You must understand the theme for each chapter of non-fiction books. For fiction, the plot usually follows a similar direction, as you will see below, so the themes in this type of book will not change much. Practically all plots of fiction books consist of the following five sections, exposition, also known as the introduction or beginning. The background, characters, and setting are unraveled in this section, rising action, conflicts start to arise, mainly due to the development of complex events. Normally, there are two kinds of conflict, external and internal conflict. Climax, this is when a twist or decisive moment occurs. Most of the time is a conflict, which readers wonder if it will be resolved or not, falling action. This phase is marked with the planning and the beginning of a resolution. Resolution. This is also referred to as a conclusion and is when the story's final outcome. Step 4. Create a book summary outline. Now that you know the book's main ideas and have notes with you, it's time to create an outline. An outline will act as a short plan and roadmap for your book summary. Step 5. Draft the summary. The other step is to fill up the outline. This includes the introduction, important character traits, and their impact on the storyline, plot, conclusion, and other crucial sections. Use the notes you created to fill these sections. Step 6. Proofread the draft. The final action is to go through the draft and eliminate all the errors. The common errors students make include grammatical errors, punctuation errors, flow and clarity issues.